hi guys welcome to the video today we will solve one more coding question so this question is basically from geek for geeks and it's a uh, uh, array question array based question it's controller easy so let's understand the question the question is count the pairs with the given sum uh, uh, understand more about that uh, given an array of n integers and uh, an integer k find the number of pairs of the elements in an array whose sum is k I hope you have understood like uh, we have given a number k uh, for this particular array we need to find out the number of pairs which will result to this number k so in this section it is saying that 1 plus 5 1 and 5 become 6 so this is one pair and this 5 and this 1 will become one pair so we total in total we have two pairs okay let's see second example so in the second example all are ones and here the output is six how the output is six so this one will pair with this now this one will pair with this it will become second this one will pair with this so this is three pairs right now this will pair with this that is four pair this will pair with this that is five pair and this will pair with this so six pair so this is the special case that we need to handle else it is very easy and common question to be answered and uh, you just need to handle this particular case now here it is uh, been given the what is the task now the expected complexity is o of n and we can use an extra space of o of n as well okay so these are our constraint so let's understand this how we are going to solve this so this is the whiteboard uh, I have tweaked the example a little bit so that we can cover both the examples okay so instead of 1571 I have kept 1157 okay so in this uh, I'm going to take a hash map which will keep the key and the current count of the hash map okay so suppose uh, we come over here right. suppose we come over here we will check if my k minus arr of i has this value or not so my k is given for this is 6 okay so i will check 6 minus 1 5 is present or not so my 5 is not present over here so what we will do we will just keep the 1 and the current count of 1 okay now we will come over here now my i is equal to 1 okay now i will check if my 6 minus 1 5 is present or not so it is not present right so i'll add 1 so 1 is already added so i'll make it 2 okay now i will come over here now i will check if my 6 minus 5 is present or not 6 minus 5 1 1 is present right so how many ones are present it is two so obviously we, we will be able to make two pairs right so we will just add as a count two okay now we need to add this five as well right so we'll add five and this has count one okay now we will check this is six minus seven minus one is present or not it is not present so we'll just move on and we will add seven as one okay let's run this example for our second case one one okay let's see for this case how it's going to be handled okay uh let's create a hash map for this so first we will come over here is my k for this is two so let's see if k minus er of i that is one is present no right so what we will do we will just add one and the count of one is one now we will come over here now i'll check if my k that is two minus r of i one is one is present over here yes how many one are present it's one so my count of that particular pair will become one okay now since i have to add this as well after that so this count will become two now i'll come over here now i'll check whether 
my k minus a minus a r of i is present or not so 2 minus 1 is 1 is my 1 present yes how many ones are present 2 so how many pairs i can make 2 out of this right so this will become plus 2 so total 3 right now since uh, this is also added now it will become 3 now we'll come over here now I will check the same thing 2 minus 1 1 is present how many ones are present 3 so how many pairs it can make 3 so 3 plus 3 it will become total become 6 right and now we can add this as well so it will become 4 but now it's the end of thing so our output will become 6 hope you understood it let's code for this so we can take our hash map Okay, it will have integer now for each data each iteration we will do what we will do we will check if our map has k minus data or not this data is ARRI since we are using for each so no need of I uh, travels as for the index so if it is present right uh, we need to take a count as well over here which will we will return at the last so by default we will keep it zero so we will check if our map has it if our map has it then we will need to get the count and we we'll add it to the present count then we will do map dot get k minus data okay once we did that now if it is present or doesn't present we need to keep track of uh, the count what we have traversed till now so for that case what we can do we can just put the data and we can just do map dot get or default so by default i am adding for this key as zero and even if it is one so it will add one to it okay now we have traversed it we will return the total count okay let's run this so our result is fine let's submit this So this is fine. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you. See you in the next.